All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. So, if you guys need anything from me, check out my website, sweetsoultarot.com, or you can find it in the description. Friendly reminder, channel members and Patreon members get to see these readings first. You can also get bonus readings and passionate readings on Patreon. You can get your first seven days free. So, I didn't want to do a love reading today. They don't care what I want. They really don't. And here we are. So, we're going to see what's coming out. Let's see. Walking away. Interesting. That stuck out to me. Someone here could have had the strength to walk away. 27 or 50. That could be ages. That could be days or weeks since you took this action. Maybe even months. You and this person could have been intimate all around the clock. That's just random. Hmm. This person could be getting a lot of clarity how consumed they are by you, for you. Almost said because of you. Someone here has been doing a lot of resting. Someone here has been rejuvenating. You're going to have a lot of possibilities here coming up around love. You could be really indecisive what journey you want to take. Be careful of someone coming in and still allowing some sense of confusion or secrecy to consume this dynamic. If someone's not willing to be honest with you when it comes to how they feel for you, what they want from you, with you, all of that then I would say that they aren't at a place where they can have an adult, an adult relationship. And I do think that there could be some sense of an attachment here with someone, but I also feel like this person could have the tendency to be deceitful. And this person could have the tendency to take more action when it comes to their financial abundance than when it comes to a relationship. And what does that mean? That means that their money is their priority. And you can't be in a relationship with someone if you're not their priority. Now, you can be in a situationship, and if that's fulfilling for you, perfect. But just know that there could be someone, more than one person, wanting to approach you here in the upcoming future. And one of them could have some sense of an attachment, whether that is to you or to someone else. Regardless, that person is not being 100% transparent and honest with you. Somebody's wanting to build with you. Somebody's wanting to conceive something with you. Whether that's a literal child, a business, that could be building a home together. That could be redoing furniture together. But this person's wanting to create with you. This is definitely someone who is stuck on you. Yeah, this is someone who breadcrumbed you. This is someone where there was an indulgence. You know, it's funny that I said situationship at the beginning, and I'm getting situationship vibes. I'm, I'm getting breadcrumbing, and I'm getting wish fulfillment or indulgence. Someone could have breadcrumbed you. I'm saying that you could have had the strength to leave this person behind. I'm saying that this person could want to take some sort of action towards you or communicate with you. I'm saying that this person could want to give you some sense of clarity and truth about why they couldn't put action forth is what I heard. You and this person could go eat together. Yeah. So there's been healing, there's been resting. And in that, a decision has been made. What does that decision look like? Okay, Queen of Wands, it looks like you. You could have also been resting and healing. If this is someone external to you and they were attached to someone else, they could have made a final decision to leave someone behind. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this is you. I feel like you could have been resting and renewing your energy, your confidence, 
your abundance. I'm getting that the focus here has been releasing unhealthy love, unhealthy attachments, unhealthy obsessions, unhealthy views. It's like your focus has been releasing anything that's not healthy. And you could have seen that this person was tied up, but it could have been an energy where it's like, but you tied yourself up. You can't play the victim in a circumstance that you're not willing to change and I'm not willing to entertain that. And that could have gave you the strength and the courage to walk away. Now, I will say that if you walked away, you have looked back. So you thought about this person, you could have definitely looked this person up. You could have the tendency to like every time you look at your phone, you're hoping it's them. You want to see them in town. So there is like a yearning that your heart has had for this person. So what conversation do they want to have around this breadcrumbing? Okay, so they want some sort of new beginning. They're looking at this from a practical and logical standpoint. And if they look at it from a practical and logical standpoint, they have breadcrumbed you in the past or did something where there was like an indulgence, wish fulfillment, temporary type of energy. This person's wanting to drop their guard towards you. So this person wants to drop their guard. Why do they want to drop their guard now? Because you've moved on. You've been living in the moment, living your life, having fear of being abandoned. This person could have an outdated way of thinking. This person could have also wanted you to chase them. This person could really thrive off of codependent relationships. This person likes to feel needed. They thrive off of feeling needed. It, that's where they get their value from. So this person, it's like the biggest fear that they had was you abandoning them. And you did, you left them behind. You had the strength to say, you're breadcrumbing me. I ain't playing with you. This ain't enough. No. And you walked away. This person's going to be reaching out to you. This person's thanking of you and they want to let you know. So they're either going to call you, text you. They're going to reach out to you. Because you're moving on. Now they want to drop their wall. And they want to have some sort of new beginning. They want to create with you. They want some sort of new phase. They want to rekindle with you. Somebody's name could be Kendall. This person could be thinking some wild thoughts right now. Feeling like it's going to take some time to heal this. The relationship will be, be evolving. Wanting to rebuild this. Wanting to work on it. There could be something here where this person is going to acknowledge that they sabotaged something. Whether that was willingly or unwillingly. Just because they sabotaged it doesn't mean that they were aware of that. I'm feeling emotionally void without you. That's sweet. I'm lost in this world. It's getting lonely without you. And it's funny because the thing that they don't want to feel is the thing that they now feel. I mean, it's not funny. I say it's funny because we have the tendency as humans to try to avoid things from happening that we don't want to happen. But when you overthink and you're like, no, 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 I'm not going to go through that. What tends to happen is you go through it because that is your main focus. That is the only thing that's consuming your mind. One day we will be together again. This person really does believe it in their heart. Somebody's, um, I was about to say somebody's birthday could be February. Duh. Amethyst. Okay. So you could be wearing that. I've not given up on you. It may seem like it though. Let me see that. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. I know my life will not be the same. The distance between us is killing me. I'm afraid that it's too late for me to turn this around. Oh, there's another one. 
I hope we can come back together with one another and pick up where we left off. So this person doesn't want it to be awkward. They don't want it to be weird. They don't want it to be strange. They want it to still be that very genuine, understanding, not awkward dynamic. And although it seems like they've given up on you and this, they haven't. You little faker. I can't deal with these strong emotions, so I run the other way. There's unfinished business here. Yeah. I want to tell you how I feel, but I'm having a hard time finding the right words. Feeling like they want to tell you how they feel. How did you get in there? Feeling like they want to tell you how they feel before it's too late. But they could feel like they're going to have to go through a closed door because this huge enclosure on the bottom is where the bunnies go. They only go there at night when I'm asleep for about seven hours just because I don't trust them around the house for that long. And he just busted in. So there is an energy here where maybe this person does feel that the door has been closed. They question, is there a possibility to get back through that door? But this person feels like you could be their long-term partner. I'm hearing that song, I'm Carrying Your Love With Me. West Virginia down, down at, is it down to Tennessee? Or down in, I don't know. Okay, what is this person wanting with you? So this person's gonna come out of nowhere. Listen to your intuition, they're gonna offer you something. And they want their offer to be the one you can't refuse. You could have dealt with a snake in the past. I'm seeing a V, I'm seeing a W, I'm seeing an M, but I'm also seeing a hole. A hole that has a cup in it. So someone could have felt very hollow, very unable. That's interesting. I heard it wasn't even that they were unable. It was that they really never thought they would be capable of loving again. This person's been through it. This person's had their heart broken. The distance here has shown you how strong you are. And I think it, the distance here has shown you how strong you are. And I think it's also helped this person see your strength. And if there's been any hurt or anything here, this person does regret it and they want this to transform. This person could be wondering if you're seeing other people I'm seeing the word power wash again. Some of you could be buying a power wash. Some of you could be starting a power wash company. Somebody could be power washing their car, their house, something like that. I don't know if you're supposed to power wash your car. I think you can, but I just don't think it can be like a certain amount of pressure. Okay, give me more. This, fir this, this person, this person's feeling called to take action. When are they wanting to take this action? And they're going to run to do it. This person could reach out to you and then they could buy a plane ticket to come see you within like 10 minutes. They could jump in the car to come see you within 10 minutes. There's going to be quick action taken once they reach out because my bunny went running. They're scared that you've lost hope. They're scared that you're going to now be at a place where you're like, oh, you want to work on this with me? Well, too bad, too sad, you're a loser. You could never touch me again. They are scared that you're going to come off as someone who's very ego-driven, so much so that at this point it's like, oh, but I want to hurt your feelings. I'm ready to reject you. I'm ready to show you what you're missing. Th they're scared about that. Because now they desire you a ton. I think they've always desired you. 
but they've had this poker face when it comes to you and not showing you what they want, what they were feeling. So someone's gonna be reach out, reaching out to you and letting you know that they're thinking about you. But they are worried about your response. Yeah, it's funny because the person that they used to get is the person that they're hoping you'll show up as. You used to come to the table as this very loving, giving, emotionally nurturing person. You were very compassionate when it comes to this person, their actions, actions, their choices. You always had the ability to put yourself in their shoes and they're scared that what they've done or the lack of what they've done is going to be the reason that they get a version of you that they don't want to get. This person doesn't want to experience that side of you, but they know that coming towards you, there's always a possibility. This person's anxious. This person is anxious and worried that you're not gonna to wanna to give up where you're at to be with them. They're anxious and worried that you are now going to turn into like a karmic and what do I mean when I say turn into a karmic? I mean, they're scared that you are now going to be reactive. You're not going to be that compassionate person. You're not gonna be, sorry, she's sitting there looking at me like, mom, why are you talking to yourself? You're not going to be the loving part of you that you use to show them. And that's the part that you're, they're yearning for. That's the part that they miss. But they also know that they've pushed you so far that it would be stupid not to know that there is a version of you that they might see. They're hoping you've not made a final decision on this. They're hoping that you're willing to learn and grow with them. But they'll understand if you don't, if you won't. But I don't know if I can go through life saying that I didn't fight for something that I didn't want. Somebody could smoke Newport cigarettes. Somebody could, you could, um, this is random. Some of you could run into this person at the laundromat. This person could be at the laundromat. They could just be chilling in the laundromat um, parking lot. Feeling like you've changed your mind on them. Feeling like they feel that this is unfinished. But if you had to get your own closure, do you feel it's unfinished? There's also a part of them that's like, am I missing something? Is there something that maybe I'm not seeing? Hold on. When is this person coming towards you? Will of Fortune. It has everything to do with divine timing. This person is going to be the place where they're going to be when they approach you right before they do. They could find themselves in an energy of very, they're going to be very anxious. They're going to be really overwhelmed. They're going to find themselves trying to distract themselves. So, you know, they might go to the kitchen. Oh, nope, I got to go back over here. Oh, no, 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 I got to go back over here. There's a very all over the place energy for this person. That's the Nine of Cups that just went back there. I was asking, what is this person thinking and feeling? And I was thinking in my head, okay, are they wanting wish fulfillment? Or are they wanting indulgence? Do they think your wish fulfillment or in their mind, are they simply thinking, Lord, I love to have a piece of that cake. Let me go in just in case it's out of, out of stock in a little bit. No, what's happening here with the five of cups, ace of cups is that this person's having some sense of regret 
or sadness around the fact that they wish they would have offered their cup. They wish that they would have offered their love. Now, they're also thinking that maybe you regret offering your love to them if you did. And what if you have the vision that you were a fool of offering me your love last time? You would be a fool to do it again. It's like this person needs to know what you're thinking. Yeah. See, they feel like you've changed your perspective when it comes to reuniting with them. They feel like you're at a place where you're like, no, I need to protect myself. I can't trust you. I don't like you anymore. I can't be around you. So the fact that they now want to approach you, it, it's overwhelming. It's so interesting. I don't know why, but I feel like this person always thought that you were always going to stay in the Queen of Cups. But that ended up burdening you. That ended up getting to a point where you were like, I'm tired of being this unconditional love. I love you through it. I understand type of person. I'm killing myself doing this. I can't keep doing this. And they're wanting to communicate about that. But they're juggling. Can we get to a place of peace? Will you want to move forward? Will you want to see me? Or are you going to be at a place where you're like, I don't want to talk to you. That's the reason I deleted you. That's the reason I got rid of everything. Like, what is going to be your reaction, your approach? I am seeing movement. So I do think that there will be some sense of movement here. Whether it is them reaching out to you, then coming to see you, there will be movement taken. When? Page of Wands, divine timing. They won't give me a time frame. This person's going to reach out to you with maybe a flirty message. It's going to be a message of good news. It's going to be good communication. Oh my goodness. I'm about to drop all my cards. Oh my God. And you could have something in your hands and like almost drop it when they finally text you. Like, oh my God, about time. Yeah, they're going to take action. They're going to be at a place where they're going to be, they're going to be at a place where they're going to say, okay, I have to choose a path. I have to choose a direction. And the only thing I can think about right now is the past and the person who had the strength and walked away from me. That's all I can think about and how it could have been successful. It could have worked. We could have made it happen. I think what you don't know is that this person's been secretly holding on to you because they've always thought that they could grow with you. They just haven't had the opportunity, the confidence, the strength, that it's not been the right time. And I know a lot of you are gonna get pissed at that, but it is what it is. It hasn't been the right time for this person to come towards you. Now they're scared that it's an illusion, that they've made all of this up in their head. Very interesting. So you can expect communication in divine timing. Okay, I'm seeing a T, I'm seeing an A, I'm seeing an R, I'm seeing an L, I'm seeing an O, I'm seeing an N. But this person's gonna reach out to you. Hey, how have you been? I miss you. I just wanna check up on you. Again, expressing love or letting you know that they're thinking of you. And then it's gonna kinda snowball because they feel that this is unfinished. And the reason that they ran is because they couldn't deal with what they were feeling. I can't deal with this. They couldn't deal with what they were feeling. Yeah, I said that right. They couldn't deal with this. And now they wanna tell you what they're feeling, but it's, how can I get my point across? What words could I use? Are you with somebody else? Oh God, you close the door. It's like, there's nothing worse than having to approach someone and not knowing if they're going to answer your text message or leave you on read. I've been there before. That is the worst. When you text someone and you're like, oh my God, they're not going to text me back. And then they text you back. It's like a roller coaster. And I feel like this person is overwhelmed by that. It, it's overwhelming. Because there's a possibility you won't text back. And if you don't have your red receipts on, if you have an iPhone, they won't even know if you read it. But they do know that they desire to come towards you and that they've been keeping this to their self for too long. Somebody could have recently went to Dave & Buster's or somebody could be going to Dave & Buster's or somebody could go with this person to Dave & Buster's. So they're gonna come out of nowhere and they're gonna give you an offer. because they've been thinking about the past and thinking about you a lot. 
And again, it's gonna come unexpectedly. It could come around the 16th of September, but it could also come in 16 hours, 16 days. I'm not saying 16 weeks. 16 hours or 16 days. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here because I'm really confused, but that's nothing new. Have a blessed day, guys.